Darwin also thought that if an animal did not use a body part, such as a leg or an eye, its offspring would eventually be born without these. He envisioned animals shedding body parts this way through the law of disuse. For example, he suggested that the eyes of a mole became covered with fur and smaller because the mole did not use them underground. But this idea is genetically impossible. Using or not using a body part has no effect on the DNA of the reproductive cells and cannot be passed on to the next generation. If you put an eye patch on a baby at birth and left it there till adulthood, that person's offspring would still be born with normal eyes. Disuse of a body part has no effect on the next generation. In the late 19th century, a scientist with a vivid imagination and a butcher knife put the law of disuse to rest and caused an enormous difficulty for Darwin's theory. A man by the name of August Weismann devised a, a simple experiment in which he kept cutting off the tails of mice and he did this for 20 odd generations and the mice still had tails. With this simple experiment, the law of disuse was invalidated. Scientists continued to explore the law of use and later realized that this concept was also genetically impossible. Any change to body cells has no effect on the DNA in the reproductive cells and therefore cannot be passed on to the next generation. The impact of that uh, experiment and of other uh, skeptical uh, biologists uh, essentially uh, left an explanation for evolution sort of up in the air.